what is going on everyone so it is day three of the daily ui design challenge all right so the goal for the day was to create a landing page and uh if you have signed up for it you can see my previous videos basically go at things like dailyui.co or just type in daily ui challenge on google but essentially here is what i came up with and this is your first time on this channel i'm essentially documenting myself starting from almost nothing to learning about ux and ui and just going as far as i can go in this space so in case you are new to the channel make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along also give this video a thumbs up and if you wanted to connect or leave any feedback or comments feel free to comment down below um in the comment section so uh <clears throat> by no means am i an expert at this at this is all this is literally me just documenting me just doing some design so if you want to critique me go ahead feel free definitely would love some criticism but here we go this is my landing page design it's pretty i'll say simple and uh essentially i'll just show it to you and um i'm not really doing tutorials because again i'd say i'm not an expert in this space but if you really want me to show you like from scratch showing you how i built this you know my thought process definitely let me know but i can show you a few little things but as far as like fonts and spacing and stuff but ideally you get the picture it's pretty um if you know what you're doing you could probably replicate this but um let's go in let me zoom in right now so ideally right here this is the picture with this girl is looking out on the mountain is essentially just a stock footage image so if i click on um here you can see this like the full image and then what i did i added a little um rectangle overlay so i think it's like um here and I didn't I didn't label all my stuff um either so don't um if you guys are like yo you didn't label properly yeah I know uh, <laughs> I was actually trying to um just try to do this last night but let me see if I can find if I have the rectangle let's see so I'm not exactly I don't even know where I put that <laughs> let me check actually down here but um <clears throat> yeah let me see if I can pull it out. I'm not sure yeah so basically i actually instead of doing the rectangle i think yeah i made the background black and then i put the image as 92 so if you if i were to go to zero yeah it'd be um black so basically the initial frame is colored black and then this frame for like 92 percent just to make it a little darker so it's a little easier to see the text i'm mean, not gonna really change this to anything i want to but i mean 92 right there and uh here this goal of this landing page is essentially to get people to sign up so enter your email address nothing too crazy or fancy i did add a little more stuff at the end because i thought it was kind of plain but um <clears throat> let me just go through the uh like process right here so let's start off with the first thing people will see which is adventure starts here so ideally it is a um concept so the concept is a uh hiking group and they also sell you know some of their own products as well so essentially answer email this is just a gradient button uh with um let's see if i can double tap on here also i'm using roboto as a text and we click here this linear gradient so in case you want that color it's pretty much right here here's the hex code there and then over here hex code and the uh, opacity and this is just simply a rectangle with uh enter email address here and then the gray coloring right there and then um the height is 70 so if you want to make your thing with 605 i think the spacing what did i put my spacing at 150 so i have even space right here and then here's just like uh i just typed in like uh testimonial logos or uh just like as seen on on google and then you can type like as seen on forbes logos and you should get like a bunch and i i basically like cropped it out but this one's at 150 right there too as far as the spacing from the left side so this part is pretty simple and basic. I don't think I have to explain too much on here. And then if you go up to the top right, here's the menu options. I saw this off another website with like the uh, underline. So I figured I'd add that here just to see, you know, test it out. So ideally, this tells you like, all right, right now we are currently on the home page. And also, if you didn't notice, I um, decreased the coloring of the other options on the menu so that the home, the one that I'm currently on that page, is more um, bright so you can see here that that's a little like a uh, darker and then i have a login button right here and then the sign up and it's just a typical gradients and then over here on this left side is this little custom little logo thing i made it took me a minute to figure out how to do it but let me zoom in i just made this straight up and essentially if i see if i can um click on it so ideally this was just three triangles so if i can show you i have it over here this component 
So essentially what I did is I went to the shape tool and I was trying to get fancy. I just made this literally from scratch. But uh, basically, he made like three triangles like this. I duplicated, bring it down. And then um, I made a rectangle next. And then you put it in the middle. And then I, what you want to do is uh, change this right here because it's rounded. So I think I put like what? Like, I think probably like two. Yeah, two. And then I did the same thing here. So two there. And then um, if I click off here, two here. And then here's a rectangle. So I made it a little fatter and shorter, but for this example, I'm not gonna do it right now just to save time. And then ideally you can uh, like tweak the shape of the, the triangle so you can like make it smaller, make it look better. And uh, essentially you just play around with it. I'm just showing you the process I went through. And then once you find like the perfect shape of your tree that, I mean, or whatever low you're trying to make, then you ideally would unionize this or group it together and then I union it. So um, group here and then I just put union. And then what I did next, cause this part took me a minute to figure out. Cause you see how like this side is a little darker cause it has like a little shadow effect. I went like this and pretty much um, go here, click on the tree and the rectangle at the same time and subtract. So now you have this half here. So then what I did was I duplicated this if I remember correctly, let me see if I um flip it uh, horizontally. Yeah, there we go. So now we have these two shapes here. So ideally, if um I make this shape like a little bit darker than this one, it has like that, you know, like somewhat a semi like three dimensional effects. This one is a linear, but you see the point what I did there. And that took me quite a bit to figure out because I've never done that before, but I was trying to figure out how to like replace it and I like cut it in half. And I didn't know there's like a, to my knowledge right now, I don't know if there's like a crop tool or anything. So I just had to use a rectangle and subtract it. But that's pretty much the thing I did. And then this is just simply like font, the same font I used uh, for uh, my everything Roboto and just typed it next to it. And that's basically how I went through and made that little logo right there. And then the last thing I'll show you is this right here. So um, let me see if I can close it up. Cause initially it was like this and then the text was a little darker and I was like, yo, something's missing. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't look right. So I ended up adding like a little rectangle up here and it just makes it a lot easier to read. And it just feels more uh, like a typical website that I can see for this type of um, feel. And it's pretty much the uh, process I went through. So nothing too crazy, nothing that hard. You may, you, anyone could pretty much um, replicate this. It's just buttons and text and then a little logo down here. So definitely if you enjoyed this, go down below and hit that like button, thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this design, ways I can improve upon it. Also some extra tricks and tips you have or recommendations as far as like spacing in between. Uh, things like what do you think would be good? Let me know in the comments below. And also if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video.